friends, it's Julia at the blog farmhouseharvest.net. Hey, today I have harvested over 40 butternut squash from my four butternut squash plants that we planted back in June. So we've got 40 of these beautiful butternut squash. These last for over six months, just on your shelf or in the pantry. So growing these in the spring will feed your family through the winter. You can eat them at least once a week through the winter. And today I am going to show you how to roast these and I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful and delicious butternut squash soup with coconut cream and curry and apple and it's sweet and it's savory and it's perfect for fall and it's perfect with sourdough rolls or just dinner rolls and bread to dip it in. So the first thing that we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is peel this butternut squash. I do not chop off an end. Some people chop off an end so that they can set it down and peel down. I just peel the whole thing, then I chop off the ends, cut it in half, scoop out the seeds, and start cubing up my butternut squash. So if you've never used this, this plant before, if you've never eaten one of these, you're gonna love them. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to wash this off really quick, and then we will start peeling it. And we're just gonna wash it and make sure we get off any germs, any dirt from the garden, or bird poop, or whatever may have gotten onto it. I'm just gonna wash these seeds off and then we're gonna add them to our pan here and we'll roast them with the skins for garnish. Now that we have our seeds and our butternut squash skins roasted in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and continue cubing this into about one inch cubes and put it into my rectangular casserole dish. You can use any size rectangular casserole dish. This is probably a seven by 11 or a nine by 13, not sure, but um, we're just gonna roast them in the oven. We're gonna put them in here, one inch cubes, sprinkle them with a little bit of maple syrup, sprinkle salt and pepper, and then roast those for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes till they're nice and soft. And then we'll have our roasted butternut squash and we can move on to making butternut squash soup. This is delicious on its own. In fact, this is my favorite side dish, is roasted butternut squash. I love it so much. And I like it with a little bit of pepper on top. My kids don't like it with the pepper, they just like the sweet. But I do like it with a little bit of pepper. A little bit of spice. All right, that's it. Now we'll so we've got our sliced onions and our sliced apples, and we'll go ahead and start by sauteing those onions. Okay. So we have that dog. <laughs> 